Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Brian, also that's Brian. Welcome back to another video. I have finally read it, and I'm finally making the video my review and discussion of Devil May Cry 2 Novel Volume 2. Now, this is a prequel to the Devil May Cry 2. Yes, that game. And guess what? It's actually better than the actual game. Oh my god. I actually did really enjoy this um the storyline of Devil May Cry 2 Novel. It was kind of hard for me to read it because, you know... Yeah, Devil May Cry 2 and Devil May Cry 2, you know, it's a it's a piece of shit. But you know, but um this storyline was actually pretty decent. It was actually enjoyable, interesting, uh the way uh the 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 story progressed. And so here's my review and discussions. Uh this is a part of my Road to Devil May Cry 5, where I play or do anything that deals with Devil May Cry uh leading up to Devil May Cry 5. So this is gonna be the exact same thing as I discussed and reviewed uh Devil May Cry 1 Volume 1. So again, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be the same chapters, the same thing. Oh, before we begin, so um, I'm an idiot. So for some fucking reason, I thought the sections or the you know the, the chapters were called phases, right? You know, it sounds you know, you know, sounds legit. You know, phases and like oh that sounds believable, right? I found out they're called phrases. They're not called phase. It's not phase one, phase two. It's phrase one, phrase two. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking retard. Yeah, it just it's, it's phrase, not phase. I'm a fucking retard. I just I'm a fucking retard, man. So if you see my discussion reviews of Devil May Cry Volume One uh, novel, uh, if you guys have seen that series, it's gonna be the exact same uh, um, style of video. So yeah, without further ado, let's rock. gonna cover the prologue of the story of the game of the, the book novel shit <laughs> so our story begins in a library where voices are bouncing around we see a woman with red curly hair and an old priest talking arguing the woman's name is Beryl a devil hunter that has reputation of hunting and slaying demons so she's very skilled so the reason Beryl and the priest are arguing is because of this big thick wooden door at the other side of the library so now this wooden door this big thick wooden door is locked with chains of charms and the priest says that these charms are the uh, things that keep away demons those are the gonna warn the demons are coming to the door and it's gonna you know protect the door and the door hasn't been opened in around 10 years or so and the trespasser has not entered the vault in around 2,000 years this is what the priest said to Beryl but Beryl since she's a devil hunter she sensed something weird about this door and all of a sudden she feels pain in her collarbone right here this happens when she is near the thing she is after. Since she's an experienced devil hunter, her instincts kick in. She pulls out a big anti-tank rifle and a big black shadow emerges. This mysterious being is big and has wings on his back. So she shoots a couple of rounds and screaming, come at me. She she is ready for a fight. This is the reason why she fights. This is what she's after. During uh, barrels and uh, fight against the mysterious being, uh, the priest leaves the scene. All of a sudden, a big hellfire started rising around the inside the library. <laughs> but all of a sudden, the, the mysterious being rolled, rolled really loud and made the whole library fall. Inside the old library, things were falling, things were crumbling to the floor. Since everything was falling down, there was a big hellfire. She was, she had to avoid all the situations because she is human. But she is an experienced devil hunter. She could evade that easily. But she did not lose of her, of her, the one target in her sight which was this being, the shadow. The shadow was, was moving through the crumbles and she got one shot perfectly. She hit the shadow's wing off, but seconds later, this, this shadow laughed and the wing grew back. And then moments later, uh, Beryl noticed that she was all alone. The demon has slunk back into the depths of the earth. She could do nothing but sit there quietly, leaning on her rifle. Looks like you got away again, she muttered. The old scars no longer burn or ain't. But failure made her heart heavy. She found herself crying. But it wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. So that kind of concludes the prologue. The prologue was very short. So this is a novel. You yourself have to visualize what's happening in the scenes and what you can imagine. The prologue does a decent job describing everything. 
but it's fun uh, really novels because you gotta visualize yourself uh, what's happening in the scene uh, how the, the 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 scene is playing out how the the characters are moving and doing that I actually did enjoy the prologue it actually did set up what is to come with this new character Beryl so yeah this is the end of the discussion the end of the review for this prologue you know the, the first part of it the next episode I will be discussing and reviewing uh, phrase one hey guys thank you guys for watching my name is Brian Olson I'm Brian I'll see you guys next time later